Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome to a little addition to my existing mass tag tool. So this tool allows you to tag things and name things and edit things on mass to thousands of objects at the same time. So basically anything on the tool gets processed and anything in a bag on the tool will get processed. But what I found out recently, if I just click on the snap points over here, see all these snap points here? I found out there's a new feature to me. It's been around for a while, but I only just found out about it. Where if a snap point has a tag, it won't allow any object to snap to it unless it has that exact same tag. But you need to be able to tag all these tags and it's a pain because you've got to right click on each individual tag and then add the tag and so on. So for example, this, this uh, clue icon, if I just print out the tags, you can look in the chat window in the bottom left, it has no tags, okay? So if I just add a, say I put test tag onto that snap point itself, you can see that's no longer snapping. So it's snapping to this one that has no tags. This one, it won't snap. But if I then uh, tag this object with the test tag, you can see it's now snapping not only to the one that shares the tag, which wasn't snapping before, but anything that has no tags. So it's a really powerful new feature, but it's a real pain to edit these tags and this tool now can edit it. So for those that know the tool, there's a little yellow button here. Now, because this is sort of like an additional feature that I've just quickly added to the tool, it's not been integrated into the process note cards button. I might do that later, but for now, the, the, the yellow button is its separate little entity. Okay, it does everything by itself. It still gets the tags from the tag platform just like before and it still uses clear add replace or remove just like before it just uh you know it's it's just separate with the with this yellow button so how does it work the general functions of this tool are described in the other video which you can find on the uh, mod page so let's just spawn a note card and i'm going to come down here and i'm just going to go add token general and I'm going to add all I'm going to add that tag to all these objects okay make sure that it says I'm just going to put it to replace boom so all those objects have now got that tag if I click on it look in, look in the bottom left you can see it says token general that's because that's the tag it has this one here though I'm going to call this one add token uh, skill. Okay, and I'm just going to process that as well. Boom. So now this thing has token skill. Now, the way that you actually build the tags is by using scripting zones and the best thing to do is to press p to go into the top down view and then just draw the zone so you go up to zones click on scripting zone and you just draw so we're just going to draw a box around the uh skill slider area like so and now i've still got it to replace I've still got the skill thing here in the tag thing. If I hit the yellow button, boom, whoops, it has an error. You need to draw a script zone and tag it as tag tool underscore script zone. So let's just quickly do that. So you just go to scripting, right click on the zone, hit tags, and I've already got it written in. So I'm just going to click on tag tool underscore script zone. Otherwise, you just type it into here and press enter. So now that that script zone has been tagged correctly, we can now run the Z button again. Boom. Oh, that's my phone, hang on. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so now I've replaced all those snaps. So if I go back to the snap, I look at it and I right click on the individual snap, you can see it now has token skill. So that means this one here will snap 
correctly, okay? It'll snap correctly to all these snaps. But this one here, which doesn't have the correct snap, won't snap to any of them, okay? It's not snapping to any of them. And uh, what else I can do is now I just go back into the top view. I'll load up the, the volume scaler. I'll click on the thing. Oh, I'll just do a move actually. Just click on a move and I'll just go your blammo like so. I think that covers them all right. And now I'm just going to tag the rest of those with the general token tag. Bam. And it says, whoops, I've done that. And now you can see that these will tag to the general tokens. But they're not going to tag here. So these will tag all nice and neat. But these ones will tag down here. like that, but I can place dice, anything else I want, and none of them are gonna snap to the wrong spots. And that's pretty much how the tool works. It's that simple. Remember, just like before, you've got replace, so that'll replace the existing tags completely. You've also got clear, which will clear all the tags completely, and you've got add, which will add to the existing tags, or you've got, uh, remove which will remove individual tags so it's you know the way remember the other video goes into more detail but the way you remove things is uh you just type remove so let's go remove colon test remove it's all case insensitive and i'll also go Add test remove. Okay, so now we're adding the test remove and we're removing the test remove. So if I just go add to the existing ones, like so, and I look at this tag, you can see now it's got test remove and token general. We only want the, the first one, right? So now we're going to slip change that to remove and it will pick up the remove tag there. And we just go bam. And now if we go back to the tag, you can see that it's been removed again. And that is, that is it. Just to recap, let's delete this. You just draw in the, in the top down view, you just draw a box. Okay. Using the script tool, you right click it, go tags. You tag it correctly with tag tool underscore script zone. And then you just, uh, set up. So now I'll just set this to clear everything. Boom. And they're all cleared. And now if I look at these tags, you can see nothing's in there. And that's that. Okay. So this is tragic from the future. And there's one little thing I forgot to say, and that is that the tag tool, the, the way this works will work with multiple script zones and multiple objects. So you can have script zones all over your scene all tagged with that same tag and it will do the same thing and look for objects and and uh, snap points inside those objects and it will work on multiple objects. The example, I've only got one script zone and one object with snap points on it, but it will work with multiple objects inside the script zone and it will work with multiple script zones. Okay. I'll see you guys next time.